Alright. Beige energy here. I can show one, uh, you know, this beige street. And right here we got Carla Bay. So I'll show you all a fun way of getting to Bridgetown quickly without having to walk necessarily on the road if you want, don't want to. It's a nice scenic road. Uh -huh. to breathe easy. Fresh sea air. You get to Birchstone in two seconds. Plus, you're not really walking on the road right next to all the traffic. So we were like at the top of Bay Street. Where we're gonna end up is actually like in Bridgetown, where where the bridge is. Barbados, the curfew for the beach is six to nine, so everybody comes out on this lovely bay, Carlo Bay, out there is Hilton. All around here, it's supposed to be one of the biggest bays in Barbados. We got some fellas that are doing some training, football training, all sorts of things. Some people kind of walk, some people kind of do recreational activity. It's gonna be one of the most loveliest beaches in Barbados, Parallel Bay. So right out here, we got the Prime Minister's office. Prime Minister of Barbados, of course. That's where we at. But for any of my international viewers. We're gonna walk into Bridgetown. Forgive me if it's a bit bouncy. Trying to walk with a little bit of pace. Not running, but trying to walk with a little bit of pace. Carla Bay has two shipwrecks. One shipwreck was from the World War Time era, which sunk in the area out there marked by some buoys. And the other, I think, was an old ship that the Barbados government sunk in this general area out there. Naturally, to beautify the reef, I make another diving spot. Straight ahead there in the distance, in the middle, that's the central bank of Barbados. That used to be, or it still is, one of the tallest buildings in Barbados. We don't have no skyscrapers here. We don't need that. You know, we're a small island and that's enough for what we commerce around here. A lot of times people get the misconception that Caribbean countries and African countries are third world countries and we have no technology and you know, we're behind. We may be behind on things more material like in terms of legislation, certain support, but we are very much a technological state. Computerized and we're keeping up with COVID and everything is electronic. We have the, the fastest internet you could possibly get just like anywhere else in the world. Sorry, right, enough of that. Let's enjoy just the walk through here. Let me look quick and no.
Everybody is trained to own a prime spot here in Barbados. Even coming as a part and cool, Sean. What we have is the Barbados public. Or none of our beaches are private. They're all public. But what we do, we have something called the high water mark. So you see, here this club, here this establishment has um, fenced off on the beach. You have some houses do the same thing. They allow their land to grow naturally, but they're not erecting no real fences. Some of the public have had some controversy with some of these establishments that run on the beach. On this same stretch here, because let me tell you, this is prime. This is prime location, prime ocean, prime sand, whitest quality, not in the world, but some of the whitest quality in Barbados. Beautiful, but I don't know. I'm gonna show you all how clear the water is now. I, I, I just I can just show you how clear the water is. That's, I was walking past it and it glare the sun. You can see it, but I'm gonna show you how clear this water is. It's beautiful. You know, and that's why everybody wants it. But okay, that's enough for our short falls because our mission here today is to show how you can take a scenic route instead of traveling on Bay Street from where Esplanade or the garrison is straight into Bridgetown via this beautiful beach. So here we go again. Here we're supposed to have a large hotel to be coming to Barbados. They were supposed to start building. But again, another controversial project here on this beach. A lot of people are against it and some are for it. For it, of course, will bring economic growth. Against it, obviously, will bring environmental impact. So, if you have a hotel here, and, and a bit of socio-economic impact, people are wondering because, I won't say there's a impoverished area behind here, but it's an area, you know, where some people don't have the best standards or living conditions. So, it may have a socio-economic impact where, you know, they might want to restrict or however hinder people cut that naturally come here 
to enjoy the beach and relax. Secondly, the environmental impact. Of course, if you're building a building, you're not building it like just out in some rural area. You're building it on, on prime beach. You can ruin the beach. Construction has been known to affect dust and all that going direct into the sea. You know, you, you, it's possibility you might have groundwater contamination. And because the sediment of the sand is so fine, it will just filter directly in to the soil or the sand below. And even possibly into the sea. Because if they were to dig a certain depth right here, they would butt up on seawater. And that, of course, if that mix, that will go into the sea. Right? So... These are the factors that we must consider. If this is really where we want to build another hotel, we already have several over there and they're struggling for occupancy. So yeah, they're saying this hotel will bring more growth and more money, but who does it really benefit? Does it benefit the nation of Barbados in the long run? Or does it benefit investors in the short term and us, the public, having jobs that may be just another locked in job to be made redundant on. Alright, enough about that. I have those sort of skills, but this is what my, not my channel is about. It's about positive eyes and energy. So, we just made it off the beach. As you can tell, we're walking more, more now into the central area. And y'all be some of y'all might be surprised how how easy that was for me and how quickly that put me in the heart of Bridgestone. See this is what I'm talking about here. Other people can simply come and use the beach in this area. Why haven't they had a hotel? Would they restrict them? Would they make it more difficult for them to get to the beach? And the environmental impact of just having another building here. Building and building gives off CO2 emissions. That's just how it is. From water contamination possibilities. Dust affecting people in the area. So here we are. We're in town. People know we're basically at where you call famous bridge, the Barbies Raised Bridge. You know, and it was restored in Barbies a few years back. They've raised it a few times to let certain ships in and out at the wharf. We just know as the wharf. Technically, it is a marina because ships do dock that are luxury and private based. So it's called Independence Square. So see, right here, we're right here by Independence Square. We would have had to walk that whole road coming from that direction. We walk about the same distance, but felt it got here quicker because of the tours and whatnot. Since I'm Bridgetown, you know what? I figure, well, let's see if I could try, instead of going back home, like, let's see if I can find some fruit and show you how easy it is to walk and navigate through Bridgetown a little bit. So I'm going to cut this video here by this bridge here. Beautiful. Wish you didn't have your lights to ruin the architecture there, but it is what it is.